Hey Jimmy, it's Corey Bailey here. Hey, uh, heard about your graduate or your retirement? Not graduation. That would have been <laughs> that was a long time ago. But your retirement. Um, first of all, I wanted to congratulate you. Um, I think you know that um, everyone that's ever been around you loves you, thinks the world of you. Uh, that's certainly the case for me. Um, I guess I'm excited a little bit at the same time. Uh, I know that you'll be able to get down here and, and spend some more time with me here, hang out on the beach and check out a game or two. But um, we'll be in touch. Just wanted to congratulate you. Um, I think the world of you, you're the man. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you here this, uh, this upcoming fall. Jim, it's Mike Yuva, class of 2014. I don't think you'll ever truly understand how much as student athletes we appreciated everything you did for us. And it's not just for the times you'd fix some broken equipment or even give us a new practice jersey. Let's say if we misplay stars. Sorry about that, but no, it's for your ability to be able to put smiles on our faces after long practices or even after a tough loss. There's no one that deserves retirement quite like you, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being the backbone of Assumption Athletics for 19 years. Well, you know, I think when you think of Jim Mullen, you think of Assumption College, and you certainly think of Assumption College Athletics. I mean, he's the heart and soul of the department. He's here early in the morning. He's here late at night. He's here on the weekends, and he really just gives his heart and soul, and, and Assumption just means so much to him. So I think, uh, you know, when you think of Jim Mullen, you think of Assumption. Well, just how much we're all going to miss him. You know, I think, you know, I relate it to, you know, trying to replace a, a Pat Summit or a Gino Oriema. Nobody wants to try to fill those shoes and I wouldn't want to be the person trying to fill Jim Mullen's shoes. I mean just in the work ethic that he has and the effort that he puts into the job and the relationships that he's formed not with just uh, all the people here at Assumption but the student athletes. I mean everybody loves Jim. Everybody appreciates everything that he gave to Assumption and although we're happy that he's going to have time to, to have some fun and take some time that he truly deserves we're certainly all going to miss him a lot here at Assumption. Uh, sports, uh, the athletic I the program at Assumption would not be would not run without Jim. Uh, the the whole program goes as Jim goes. Uh, you know he's the first person I met here, the last person I saw when I left, and uh, when I think of Assumption, I think of Jim Mullen. Yeah, what Jimmy means to Assumption is is everything. He is Assumption, and he is Assumption Athletics, no question. I think when we first showed up here, he was one of the first people we met. You know, we have to work so well with Jimmy as a, as a football team, and, and he has such an impact, a, a major impact, positive or negative, you know, and based on how he does his job, you know, towards our team. And to watch him just do everything selflessly, you know, without ever asking about, you know, it being too much work and, you know, or, or it not being, you know, he's just a, he never cares about anything other than putting the best product out there he can for our players so that they have it as close to professional as possible. And, and that takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of commitment. You know, we, we all drive in here in the mornings and I don't think I've ever dri driven in here and his car not been here. You know, when I leave, I'm pretty positive his spot, his spot's taken every single time. I'm on the way out. His selflessness, his, the amount of time he puts into it, and then not only how good he is at his job, but the concern he has for the players is something that will not be able to be replaced. You know, it very much is, you know, irreplaceable, and that's the sad part about seeing him go. You know, we will have other people come in and other people do a job, but, you know, the quality of work that he did, and, and in the end, the, the true concern for the players, the true concern for the school, you know, is, is something that will be very hard to replace. So, you know, we thank him from the from the bottom of our hearts as a as a football team, as football coaches, as a football you know, as each an indiv individual football player. But you know, he will certainly be missed. Thank you for everything, Jimmy. So, Jimmy, uh, doing this little video project here has been a little bit of a challenge, keeping it uh, a secret from you. Um, but anyways, I uh, just wanted to say a couple things. Um, back when I started here in 2011, obviously it was un after unfortunate uh, circumstances with Merck passing away, but. You treated me like I'd been here forever, right from day one. I've always appreciated that. Um, been somebody that I can count on uh, for different things. When I undoubtedly have my truck break down or lock my keys in my car, I guess I'll have to find uh, somebody else to uh, help me out with that. Um, but anyways, you, when you're not here, I think it's gonna really leave a void in our department and it's something that we won't really know until you're not around anymore. Um, Obviously wish you the best in your retirement and I know that you keep saying that we'll see you at games, etc. I'm sure we will. 
and uh, the, the noon uh, invitation for lunch is always open. So anyhow, um, congratulations to your retirement and Assumption won't be the same without you, my friend. Hey, Jim, it's Ted Palaskis talking to you from retirement in St. James, North Carolina. So happy I get a chance to say hello on your big day and just want you to know that retirement isn't all that bad. You get a chance to do all the things you like to do and plenty of it. You know, Assumption's had a lot of great athletes over the years, but nobody except you has ever been an all-star in 23 sports. So uh, on your last day at work, I want to say congrats on your career. And remember that anytime Jimmy Mullen goes up and down the highway, whether he's going to see baseball games or whatever his new passion is going to be, he's got a friend at every exit off the highway. Congrats, Jim. Hello there, Jimmy. I just wanted to uh, record a little video um, to congratulate you, number one, on uh, the well-deserved retirement uh, and let you know that I am beyond happy for you. Uh, when I was approached by our good friend Ken Johnson uh, about doing this, which I think is a wonderful uh, tribute to you, of course I was happy to do it, but it also got me thinking about um, just some of the uh, the memories and, and things that I built at Assumption. Um, the, the worthless phone calls from my office to yours, uh, mostly just to get under your skin, uh, to get a rise out of you. I thoroughly enjoyed it, as did my staff. Uh, I miss those. Um, hiding your paper when you uh, would print to our office. That was always a, a favorite of mine uh, until you got wise to it. <clears throat> the Don't Feed the Jimmy campaign uh, aimed at reducing the amount of food that people would, would uh, drop off at your, your window uh, to help you with some of those, those food choices. Um, so those were fun. But I, I'm also reminded about just how much you helped me as a young athletic trainer and, and, a, and a new professional moving to a, a city that I didn't know anybody, a region that I didn't know anybody. And um, you were just that guy that was always there for whether it was equipment or operational needs or just somebody to, to talk to and, and vent to. And I uh, uh, really, truly appreciated everything that you ever did for me in that regard. And sometimes maybe it was a little easy to to take that for granted um but uh i, I truly appreciated it and uh <clears throat> you are without a doubt uh, a one-of-a-kind uh truly special individual that um i, I don't know what assumptions gonna, <laughs> gonna do without you because i still haven't found an operations guy uh just somebody who cares and works as hard and is as passionate about what he does as as you are and with that being said, um, you're an even better person and, and a, a wonderful uh, friend who I uh, am lucky to have known you, uh, know you, and uh, maybe with this retirement, um, I, I know a few years ago you were considering coming out here and, and had your your little health uh, battle. Um, maybe now we can finally make that happen because I'd, I'd love to see you and, and uh, catch up with you. But anyway, I just wanted to to tell you how, how grateful uh, I am for our, our relationship and our friendship and how incredibly happy I am for you. And um, all the best, my man. I, ho I hope you're well.